All right, guys, uh, most heated discussion. We know that for years it was Terrell Owens. Should he get in? Should he not get in? Which of the 15 finalists do you think brings the most heat in that room? Well, I'm going to offensive line with Tony Boselli, and this is very much a Terrell Davis argument. He had a short career because of injuries, but when he played, he was that dude. He was a dominant player who swallowed some of the greatest pass rushers in the NFL. But, again, it was a short career, shoulder surgery. Took him out after seven full seasons. So that's the big argument. I'm not in the room, but he's a great player who had some momentum, Mike. I uh, just don't know if, again, compared to some of these other players. Terrific player. Another one of those is Richard Seymour. And to me, it's a tough discussion because so much of what he did that was so great is not quantifiable. You could either see it if you had a keen eye or you could talk to people who lived it. But all the contributions he made on those great Patriots teams that – don't have a ton of Hall of Famers yet, but this guy was, was pretty special. Mike, that's a great answer, yep. but the correct answer here is Tony Baselli. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> From this standpoint, look, I you know, I went back and I looked at the last five offensive tackles to go into the Hall of Fame. Tony Baselli played 90 games. Orlando Pace, 169. Walter Jones, 180. Jonathan Ogden, 177. Willie Rofe, 189. Gary Zimmerman, 184. So longevity does appear to matter at that position, and that's why it's a tough road for Tony Baselli at this point.